Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Starting Line. I'm your host, Sarah Allen. Representatives didn't waste any time this week as the deadline for committees to act favorably on policy bills in the House came and went. Many committees heard dozens of bills during their meeting times. We have a pretty ambitious agenda, of course, as we get close to deadlines here. I think uh, most people are probably aware that we're going to get as far as we can now in our regular committee time and then we're going to recess and continue starting at 6 o'clock this evening. This week's starting line looks at House File 957, a bill that bans school construction near former landfills and requires schools near former landfills to notify parents. We sit down with the bill's sponsor, Representative Bob Detmer, to learn more about the details of the bill. Detmer, a retired educator and U.S. Army Reserve Chief Warrant Officer from Forest Lake, is serving his fourth term in the Minnesota House of Representatives. Thank you, Representative Detmer, for sitting down and talking to us about your bill, House File 957. Can you explain what this bill would do? Well, first of all, you know, I was an educator for 34 years, and uh, every year the school district would always come out with a report that would be sent out to the public, and uh, any chemicals they're using in the schools for cleaning chemicals or any asbestos uh, uh, things that they've done to remodel the school, they have to report these things to the, to the public and to the, to the staff. And when I start looking into the, legis into the statute uh, dealing with schools, there was really nothing in, in statute that dealing with what if a school is built close to a, a dump site or a landfill. And uh, I just thought it was probably a good idea to maybe make sure uh, if schools are close to a landfill or a dump site that they inform the public. Because uh, for the most part, I've been working with the PCA Pollution Control Agency to really look at the scientific approach to how you deal with landfills and, and, and uh, dump sites. And uh, I think they have a pretty good handle on it. But I wanted to get them involved in this, in this piece of legislation. All the bill does is just to say if a school district is within so many feet, my, my bill says a, a quarter mile, and that's 1,320 feet, uh, that they should uh, inform the public you know, that's where the school is located, so the public knows. And uh, they need to have it on their website, or they can, uh, and then they would also have to send out a mailing. And that mailing could go out with their annual mailing they sent out anyway. So it wouldn't be any extra cost to the school. So. Are you concerned about any repercussions that this could have? Let's say that the public is informed. They find out that their child is going to school near a landfill or on an old landfill site. Yeah. Will parents start taking their kids out of these schools in droves? Is uh, that a concern of yours? I think any time you can inform people, and if uh, the PCA has done their job, the school district has done their job to make it very clear that it's a safe environment, uh, I guess it's good for our, our, our schools, good for our families, good for the kids. Uh, I see no problems with that. I think uh, parents, they're ultimately responsible for their kids to make sure that they're in a safe environment. I think for the most part, we trust our um, elected school board members. We trust our superintendents. We trust the, our schools that it's going to be a safe environment. So uh, I think just uh, having a little more information out there is, is good. Right now, there's only five school districts that it might affect. And there's only 11 buildings that are actually close to a landfill. OK, that's statewide. OK. so. But what might happen in the future? You know, say if a, a school wants to build another, a school wants to build another building, make sure that if they're so many feet away from that landfill or dump site, that the public knows that. They need to know that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I want to make sure that I'm not pointing at any particular school district. If you look in the, the, the bill, there's no language that that describes any school district or any any building or anything. It's just a a common sense bill that will say if a school is if you're located near a, a dump site or a landfill or if you're going to be building, make sure the PCA is checking out that site, make sure it's a safe site. And then uh, if you're building, make sure, or if you are next to one already, 
make sure the public knows that. Thank you, Representative Detmer, for explaining your bill, House File 957. Let's track House File 957 through the legislative process. It's had its introduction and first reading. It was referred to the Education Policy Committee, where it was passed and re-referred to the Environment and Natural Resources Policy Committee, where it now awaits a hearing. You can learn more about these bills and others through our online news service, Session Daily. This nonpartisan news source employs a staff of professional writers, editors, and photographers that provide you with in-depth coverage of the Minnesota House of Representatives. You can also watch live coverage of committee and floor action on House TV. To see past bills featured on Starting Line, go to www.youtube.com backslash MN House Info and click on the Starting Line playlist. Coming up next week, Starting Line will feature a different bill and look to see if there's been any movement on Representative Detmer's bill or other bills we have highlighted. And remember, thousands of bills get introduced every legislative session in Minnesota. All of them first have to cross the Starting Line.